Well, hello, hello, friend. Trying here, and it's time for more trails through daybreak. Plan to play more and see what it's all about. But we're still playing the demo, it hasn't fully come out yet. Next month, soon it'll be fully out. But we are going to explore some more. I did level my characters up, not playing on Nightmare. I was slightly worried, but so Vaughn's level 9, Agnes is level 8. Just ran through the underground ruins a bit, a few, about four times. And I did just finish buying equipment. So Vaughn now has a smart Stragas on, which is pretty cool. They were pricey. But let's go see what this new quest is about. we go. Seems like a good spot to keep an eye out. Sure, I don't need to tell you this, but be casual. Don't go acting weird or drawing attention to us because you're nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'll do my best. Oh, could that be him? I think so. He matches our client description perfectly. So that's Daniel, a little cash register thief. Um, I'm looking for the latest model of Vern's cutting edge glare series of horrible cameras. Do you have any in stock right now? We certainly do. And you're very lucky too. It's a really popular model, so it comes in and out of stock all the time. I'll bring one out right away. Lucky, yeah. Thanks. Look like he's here to buy a camera. A very expensive one too. That model's like 50,000 Mira. Dang. But that's a lot of money. It's the same amount of mirror I pulled together to pay Vaughn at first. He could buy a precious gemstone with that much mirror. I hear photography is a real mirror pit of a hobby if you're serious about it. I'd rather sink 50,000 mirror in a car mod, to be honest, but that's just me. I take it he's some sort of car buff. Is it just me or is he acting a little strange? It's like he doesn't want to buy the camera to begin with. And he wasn't even sure what camera model he wanted in the first place. He had written down and said, like, he's here for someone else. Nah, that's bothering me too. That would be an open and shut case, but guess not. Oh, I think he's about to leave. Thank you very much for your purchase. Please come again and buy more cameras. Let's tail him. Got it. I saw many more cameras. Almost time for the meeting. I don't want to be late. Yeah, okay. He rushed off in the direction of the apartment store. Something here definitely smells. One of us making him rush there right now. I can think of a few possibilities, but let's just go after him now. Let's do it. Let's go. What is Daniel up to, I wonder? Hope it's nothing shady. We lost him. He's definitely in here somewhere, though. Yeah, didn't look he noticed we were tailing him either, so I doubt he ran away. Let's just look around and see if we can find him. Right! I hope we can find him. Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. Not like there's a not a big red marker up here. I, I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. Don't worry, right on time. Peaceful man, really? Found him. That's his voice, all right. So, how'd it go? I I bought it, no problem. This is a correct camera, right? Yes, it certainly is. Thank you for going out of your way to purchase it. As agreed, I will no longer be pressing charges about what happened. Charges? Oh, literally, thank you so much. I wonder if this is the reason he stole that money from the cash register. Sure looks like it. Something seems real fishy about all this. Oh, they popped up. Sorry to ruin your parade, but you mind putting this deal on hold for a sec? Huh? What's going on here? We're from our Grand Solutions office. We work here in the capital. We are hired to investigate you, Daniel. What? Wait, did Lot hire you? Hmm. Don't worry, we're not here to stop you guys or anything. We just want you to tell us a little about what's happening here. What's the story? I know it's a lot to ask, but we need something to report back to our client. It's our job, after all. 
And if you don't want him to know the full truth, we can help you out there too. Darn it. Everything was going so well too. And I guess I can't hurt to tell you since you're willing to keep this all a secret. I don't want to cause you any more trouble, so do you mind if I do the talking? Very well. I can see we aren't getting out of this without telling them the truth, so if you would. Well, this is all my fault, really. Two days ago, I was riding my bike bike to work, as always. Two days ago, I was riding my bike to work, as always. But the road I usually take was really busy, so I decided to take the next one over instead. Just as exiting, though, I rode right into this man here. Fortunately, he wasn't badly harmed, but his camera was totally ruined. So he got into an accident. Ugh, basically, yeah. I'm lucky it was this man and not someone else, though. He said ordinarily he'd be well within his rights to turn me over to the police and sue me for damages. But he was willing to let bygone, bygones be bygones as long as I compensated him for the camera. I, I didn't have any money, so getting sued had caused a lot of trouble for both me and my family. So I did whatever I could have clawed together with the intention of paying it back later. Then you used that money to buy a new one? I see. I think I know what's going on now. Ugh, I'm glad to hear that. I don't like being treated like some kind of criminal just for being a decent human being. Still, you mind if I check just one thing? What do you mean? Can you show me the broken camera that started all this? What would that achieve? It's the exact same model that young Daniel has purchased. Of that I'm certain. I gave him a note with the exact model name on it, so I'm certain he brought the right one. Oh, I don't doubt that. But you could be lying about which model was broken in the first place. Oh, that's a thing? The only way we can be sure this is all fair and above board is to see it. What do you mean? Oh, you're saying he could be taking advantage of this to make Daniel buy him a more expensive camera than the one he damaged? So that's why I need to check that they're the same. I can't believe that's true. I wrote him to him out of nowhere. He wouldn't have had time to come up with a lie like that. You're a naive, kid. Ever heard of a mock-up? It's a product reclipa that's equipped with just the bare minimum function so you can test out fields to use. There's a few scammers going around using those to get people to buy them the real thing. Like as compensation for an accident they deliberately caused by running into the victim, for example. But wait, you're not suggesting... That's quite an accusation you're making there. I don't have a habit of carrying around broken items, so I'm afraid I can't prove anything right now. Besides, you've got nothing to do with any of this. You know right to order me around. I ain't ordering you around. But I can't just sit back and let this poor guy get swindled out of a lot of Mira just because he didn't know any better. Nothing wrong with opening his eyes a little, up a little. Uh, I realize how inappropriate this is coming from me since the accident was my fault and everything, but uh... Would it be possible to see the broken camera after all? Later, I mean. Doesn't have to be now. Well, what basis do you have for trying to pin this on me? I can see that giving you a chance to settle this out of the courts was a mistake. I do realize just how rude we must sound to you. We just want the reason to believe your story. Please, won't you give us one? Why? I'm the victim here. What am I supposed to be doing the legwork here? All right, if being nice won't do it, I guess it's time to shift gears a little. If you give up on the camera and leave this guy alone, I'll let you go. But you won't be so lucky if you try and pull this crap again. Oh, Vaughn's very determined to say you did this bad. <laughs> oh, blah. I've gone away for one of you silly kids. If you hadn't come along. Oh, what a joke this is. I had enough. Here you go. Take your darn camera. The man turned the camera to Daniel. What, what? Man, what a crap show. You two better watch it. If I come across this solutions off of yours again, I'm going to put you in a darn place. I'll show you exactly a minute if I ever have the displeasure of seeing you again. Oh, no. But then it really was a, just a setup? Sure was. It was like he turned into a whole different person. Took me by surprise. Still, this is the best outcome for you, isn't it? Now you don't need to give away the camera after all. Just so you know, we know you took money from the cash register at your job to buy it. You only just bought the thing, so I'm sure the shop will let you turn it, if that's what you want to do, at least. <laughs> it's like I'm dreaming. 
I was going to return the money as soon as I could. I didn't even want to take it in the first place. I guess I have the option of just refunding the camera and returning it ASAP. I think that's the best course of action. How are you planning to put it back? That's a good question. Well, the way I see it, you've got two options here. You can explain what happened to your boss and return the mirror in person. I can't guarantee you're not going to get fired on the spot, but you can at least square up about it. What you did wasn't right, but you were being exploited by a criminal. Hopefully they'll go easy on you if they know that. Your options is to slip the money back without telling anyone. Sounds like your friends are already covering for you, so I doubt any discrepancy in their numbers is going to get traced right back to you. You'll get to keep your job and everything, but no promises your conscience will be clean after the fact. Personally, I feel like it'd be best if you owned up to your mistake. What do you think I should do? What do I think? Well... Huh? What? What? Have a good choice? What would I do in this position? Own up to it or conceal the truth? I don't up to it. It's horrible when I don't up to it. I take on things as that it was a bad thing, but not the end of the world. I just own up to it and try to move past it if I was up if it was up to you. Especially if you feel like the guilt is gonna eat you up eat at you after the fact. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Then yeah, I'm gonna tell my boss about it. Last thing I want is to drag Law into this. I couldn't stand if they find out the money's gone and blame him for covering for me. I'd rather own up to my stakes and move on, even if I have to face the consequences of my actions. I think you're doing the right thing. I'm rooting for you. By the way, I'm not wrong in assuming Lot was the one who hired you to. Uh, yes, that'll be right. He happened to see you taking the money from the cash register and was worried about you. Darn it, I had a feeling he'd see me doing it. He caught you red-handed. You guys okay with me paying you instead of him? As long as you run things by him, sure. Oh, and no stolen Lyra either. That goes without saying. I didn't cover the full amount with stolen Mira anyway. 20000 came from my own pocket. I still have that left even after I returned what I stole. Glad to hear it. Write them wire the money where you're set then. Will do. And I'll go and apologize a lot about the whole thing too. I also need to thank him for hiring you. You really saved me today. Thank you so much. Oh, so he's... He stole 30,000 Mira. That's quite a bit. Best friendly felon completed. Received 1,500 Mira. Oh, my alignment. A little towards the law. Alignment choices. That's really cool. So an option within the game will greatly affect the LGC alignment. In your choice, the... LGC Law Gray Chaos Alignment could greatly increase. We're done with Station Street now. Let's check the board again and get out for our next job. Got it! Ah, that was fun. Thank you, for visiting the you just watched all that, huh? On your phone? Well... Refreshing wheat tea? Here's KO, hello. Stores 10 HP. I mean... Let's buy a few of those. Banana. Wait, how much are these? Um, 600? Sure. Watch me, like, really need money later on. But we just leveled up our items and weapons, so we should be okay for a while. Also, we get, like, three new party members. I'm like, I can't afford it all. Where is the bulletin board? This way, right? That was a cool little episode. Got to help Lot out. Oh, I need to go chat with Lot later on, huh? See what happened. Let's see what we've got. Looks like we've got a for Spriggan. Attached case delivery. I need a package delivered to 13L? Is that an L? 13I? Just to be clear, it's possible others may try to get in your way, so be extremely cautious. I'm waiting at the beach bench located on platform one of Central Station. Anonymous. What? All right, looks like it's a transportation job next. That's odd. Do you get these kind of requests often? Nah, Corey's all job all on its own. I'm not one. It's pretty rare. Must be a special reason they're asking me. Right. Well, whatever. Makes for a perfect trial. Let's book at a central station.
Are you okay, mister? Yeah, I do want to see what the station's about. Eda Central Station. This is where we're picking up that case for the courier job. Right! The job description mentioned that other people might try to stop us from seeing the job through, though. We should be careful paying attention to our surroundings, then. Right on. Now let's go on. Well, I'm sorry, but something's still bothering me about this job. Everything about it seems so suspicious. Are you really taking the job? And what do the number and letter of the job description even mean? 13Y? Don't worry about the number, but the I is the recipient's initial. I know who it is, and I trust them. Never met him in person, of course, but they got quite the rep in the criminal what is a goody two shoes. That case isn't gonna have bombs or drugs or anything super shady. Don't don't worry about it. Our job's just making sure it gets to its destination safely. Alright, if you're certain about it, I'll say no more. We should head on site then. Yeah, I was like, is it shady? What is this? I guess I'll accept it. Central Station. It's been ages, but it's just as massive in person as I remember it. That's the biggest station in the capital for you. Let's see. We're supposed to grab the goods from the main man sitting on the bench at track one. Track one would be... On the left side of the station. Should we get moving? Sure, Agnes. Let's go. You kind the of request? Rock right solutions. We'll take the goods from here. Who might the young lady be? My new assistant. She's still in training, but you can trust her. Pleased to meet you. Very well. It's in the case. Just left it. Just left it. And just like that, he's gone. Oh, there's something under the bench. Huh, so I take it was meant for us. Ron and Agnes grab the Tachi case and accompanying note. An Atachi case and a note. This definitely doesn't reek of a shady deal. It does. Cool. You got what we came for. Time to get out of here. That'd be a serious pain in the A if our buddies decide to drop by. It's fine. Let's be on our way. Let's go. I wonder if we're going to have to fight somebody. Who are you? Aren't you the detective guy? Ahem. <laughs> have a minute, you two? What you got there? Oh, look what it is. You're the guy who was with that inspector the other day. This guy has a name. It's Nate. Not like I care if you remember it or not. Wait, you're the one who set that reporter on us, weren't you? She ended up causing a huge commotion in the station because she wouldn't leave us alone. <laughs> Darn, sounds rough, buddy. Not sure what it's got to do with me, though. Ugh, you really know how to rub someone the wrong way. You said your name was Agnes, right? I'd stay away from shady characters like him if I was you. <laughs> I, I appreciate your concern, but I'm perfectly fine. I'm currently working for him as a part-time employee, actually. What? Now that's something you should really reconsider. If there's something you need to talk to someone about, I can totally listen. Look, man, I don't care if you're looking for a hookup, but don't do it in broad daylight. Whoa. They're busy people, you know. What? Wait, I'm not finished with you yet. I don't care about you. I care about the case you have there. Why, am I breaking some sort of law I don't know of? In case you didn't know, train station are ideal targets for criminals. Whether it's stealing, groping, or some kind of shady deals, crimes are way easier to commit with a lot of people around. So if I see a shady character like you walking out with a suspicious looking briefcase, that's a double whammy of dubiousness. That too suspicious to just let you go like that? Um, that sounds more like you're relying on instinct than any other concrete evidence. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's very fair to treat people like suspected criminals without good reason. I'm not suspecting you of anything, Agnes. This guy here's the problem. Now hurry up and show me what's in that case. You'll be free to go after that, as long as there's nothing illegal, of course. Um... You know I can just decline to have a private property searched, yeah? I don't gotta show you anything if I don't wanna. If you're really dying to see what I got here, you're gonna need a search warrant. We'll talk then. The nerve of you, I swear. And I'm even more curious what you got in that thing. He's really not making this easy for us, is he? Ugh, 
fine. Just cut it to you. I'll do you a solid and tell you what's in it. Bunch of crossbow hot shots. We got a Kleine one, the huge chunk of their back catalog imported. Uh, what's a hot shot? Uh, do I really have to explain it? You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm guessing it's some sort of magazine featuring pictures of women. Not like I would know. I've never seen or read, th read them. I, I see. Not gonna lie, I'd ra rather not go broadcasting my client's fetishes to the cops. But if you really insist, fine, you can look as much as you want. Don't worry, we're glad to keep guard while you're enjoying yourself. You've got no choice, huh? We can't risk him running off with them. Look, why are you looking at me like that? Stop it! No, no need to be shy. Heck, I can even get some extras next time we import a bash just for you. I mean, I mean, just stop talking before you make Agnes think I'm some kind of pervert. Okay, okay, admit you're right. I don't have any hard evidence to suspect you of anything. Not sure if there's actually magazines in that thing, but let's just say I believe you for now and let's you go. You sure? Would make things easy if honest if he did. Huh. Just so we're clear I'm not doing this for you. It's for Agnes' sake and my honor. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll get going then. Ugh, the Dark Right Solutions guy is not to be trusted. I'm going to have to keep an eye on him. I wish I could trust Agnes' judgment here. Uh, we're finally away from him. Yeah, do call me off guard there. Don't know if he's got great instincts or if he was just some dumb luck. Just to be sure, the case is actually full of men's magazines, right? Of course not. No one's gonna go through all this trouble for something like that. Maybe. We got sidetracked though. Let's get back to getting this thing to the drop-off point. Okay. Let me check the note again just to be sure. The drop-off point is on the north side of the Riverside District. Must be at the end of the path on the left of the temple. Alright, let's get going. Keep your eyes peeled for trouble. Understood. We thankfully managed to avoid getting searched by Nate. But I can't deny I'm rather curious myself about what's in the case. They call it an Orville Cafe. I guess I can run with this thing. That's a bracer guild. You don't want to go there. Uh, how do I look at the map? Head to Riverside. I want to go see what that guy has to say. Oh, I can't go back to Old Town. Never mind. Let's do this. Never mind exploring. We're still sort of in the tutorial in a way. Well, here's Riverside, the 6th District. Don't imagine you've been here often. I've really had the need to, so no, I haven't. Although I heard it's a popular after-class spot for students. Oh yeah, place is pretty mighty pretty on a wide variety of shops and stalls. And here scores a 10 out of 10 when it comes to the view. Fun doesn't stop when the sun goes down either, with what the concert hall and all the bars around. You must freak of this place quite a lot since you know so much. I didn't have much time to look around the last time you came here. Work hard, we might be able to get to see the sights for a bit. Well, where'd you get? Who parked this car? Okay. I'm following Edith. I've been here since Dad brought me forever ago. There's so many new buildings, but the tower still takes the cake. Wait, what am I doing? I'm not here to sightsee. I'm here on a mission. Let Operation S Hunter commence. Let what? Oh, same thing. Now I gotta go talk to everybody. Yeah, this place opens at what night? Right? The concert hall usually doesn't open during the day. Oh, okay. Blue score. All I remember it was at night. Uh, where do we even go? Oh, right, right over there. You know, I want to look around. I can't just be all depressed about it forever. I need to face Rowdy sooner or later. Maybe it's time to go job hunting. Get a normal job, work hard, and make a living that way. This whole industry is just a popular contest anyway. I'm even surprised. Usually I have more things to say, but okay. Don't want to go back in there. Look who the cat dragged in. I don't know why she know. 
You open yet? Not yet, sorry. Still setting up. I'll be done by evening if you want to stop by then. Found new sweets menu that might interest you. Why not my own heart? You can hit me so well. I don't think I've ever seen a mobile food stand like this before. It's pretty unique to be fair. Welcome to Shino's Roaming Bar. Ooh. Those are where the clients are at. Cocktails and snacks are out of this world. I stop by whenever I can find her. Your business is always highly appreciated. Not every drink on the menu is alcoholic, so I can whip you something up later if you're up for it. Definitely. With Vaughn taking up you up so much. With Vaughn talking up so much, I'd love to try something out. I'll be opening later this evening, Vaughn. Get some sweets that may interest you. Stop by if you can. Will do. Vaughn loves sweets, and I do too. Not I saw a person, but nope. The mini map. I couldn't help but come back for those deductible tacos. What flavor was this? That's why I can't abide these half baked, overly lax culinary methods. Does he really think his customers will be satisfied? Oh, see, see, you have such a one note approach to tacos, huh? Hero ideas wrapped in a crispy shell. What? Okay. Sometimes they have more to say, but Next not on right this here. street. I am slightly sad there's no, um... Oh, there's like different spots to go to? What? Oh, you're running! That's so cute! <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I ran. Oh, jeez, I'm crapping up already. Nope, nope, I'm not letting that jerk win. He's so gonna regret dumping me just because I didn't fit into those stupid pants he got me. I can't wait till he comes back begging on his knees once I finish the size 4. Aw, so bad for you. Your boyfriend was a jerk. Fed off of Adam. Oh, they're the ones that after us. Finally found you, buddy. He's a smuggler. Just keep calm and hand over the case. That way, no one gets hurt, yeah? But I do what he says. My little miss here is gonna get it. Would be a shame if she ends up in the hospital. Oh, dang it. Guess you finally showed yourselves, huh? Nothing personal, y'all. Just doing my job here. And how about we take care of business elsewhere? A little cramped here for a beat down. Hope you're ready, Agnes. Uh, yes, I'm ready whenever. Hex up with you, cocky bastard. You can regret giving a slip. Oh, wow. A battle. And savor you. Be specific. Ah. Look here. I level 8, so it's good I leveled up a bit. Until Agnes' turn. Ow! Rude. Keep up Agnes. Not bad. Let's use an art, maybe. Are we in a good spot for an art? Might not be. You make me sick. Icicle hammer. This will hurt. Speed up a little more. I'll try different arts out. Vaughn has a crit. So we're gonna have to heal Vaughn. Play back attack bonus. Can I get behind you guys? One of them. We got a crit. Heal Vaughn? Doing some work. Ooh, another hit. Yes, and a heal. This will hurt. Think you're so clever. Hitting both. Take that. All you on yet. Runs down. She has a back attack. What should I do? Going all in. 
You got this. Yeah, it's for the best. Son of a... I defeated him. Nice. That was a fun one. <laughs> we lost? Man, we didn't even stand a chance. I got time to go if you're up for round two, you know. Hate sounding like just like you two punks, but I'll definitely be sending you to the hospital if you keep this up. Darn it. We'd be in for some big mirror if we could just grab the goods. Screw it, ain't worth it, man. Let's just scram. Bye. Well, at least the fact is still safe. That should hopefully be it. Yeah, looks like it. Wasn't true to come across, but I guess I was wearing over nothing. Wouldn't say nothing. You're just too strong. Those two actually have quite the reputation for knowing how to put up a fight. Hope you enjoyed the show at least. Oh, huh. First time we've met face to face. You know her? A pleasure. I'm Isabel, and I am client to you. Posted your request. Figured I should at least pick up the goods in person. Even if it meant digging myself out of a dark and comfortable hole and coming out of the sun for a while. Okay, then. Here's your stuff. Yep, this is it. Good work. This should be just what my patient needs. Patient? You mean there's medicine there? Oh, well, Agnes. That's what I meant, yeah. You can probably tell, but I'm a doctor. Not the regular kind, though. Think more back alley. I take all kinds of jobs as long as the mirror at the client the mood is right. My current paint is okay to offend an incurable disease. Great to see in the Republic. Needed some medication for it. That was only recently approved in Remif Remifria? Remifiria. Hard medication, then. It wouldn't have been approved in the Republic yet, then, if it's still new even Remifiria. Still technically illegal, so you gotta hand it down low. And since I guess that particular someone was busy, you put in a request for us to handle it. Back on the uptake as ever. I appreciate that. Getting this medication all the way from Remifiria is a real hassle, let me tell you. At least funding's not really an issue here, since the kid's parents are rich. I see. But you sprung a leak somewhere, yeah? And that's how those two knew about it. Probably wanted to hold the meds hostage so they could fleece the parents for a good chunk of Mira. You definitely need to run a tighter ship if you don't want the whole world to know what you're up to. <laughs> Harsh, but true. I can see that, especially after this. If you don't mind, then I'll be getting back to my patient. And don't worry about the payment. I'll be sure to get it to you. Let's hope we can meet again, you two. Later. As long as you're the real right person, we're fine with that. Isabel's a black doctor. Wow. Isabel's a black market doctor, then. She looks like she's quite reasonable still. Yeah, she is. It was nice getting to meet her. All right, let's get going. Of course, we're down to the shop, Vaughn. I wonder where Isabel treats her patients. She said something about a dark hole, right? Odd. They also talked about a certain someone. What did that be? There's so much I still don't know. Feels like I'm just scratching the surface. That takes care of that. Mira deposit confirmed. Mondays. That's an early move, but okay. Where are we on the map? I can't tell. What's this place? Look around Riverside. Sounds good to me. Oh, the church? Are you here for the worship service? All are welcome to join. Our temple here is dedicated to the winged goddess Ashura. Well modeled after those in the Central East, our beliefs align with the West Chapels. The winged goddess worship in the Central East is the same as Adios then? That's a wonderful question. People and cultures vary immensely from the East and West and everything in between, but she's different in name only. You can even find a Central Eastern temple right alongside the holy city of Materia's Grand Cathedral. I had heard something about this before, but not from an actual temple. Very different hearing about it from the source. Makes sense. A lot of people from the Central East call Calvert home. That looks melting pot of cultures. This place is always full and is a worship. <laughs> that it is. Exchange with the Central East has been on the rise in the past few years after all. It might not be perfect yet. Culture difference have on occasion led to tragedies. But we should still try and bridge the difference between us all. And of course, you two are more than welcome to stop by any time. Thank you so much. We'll definitely stop by again. Central Easterners are definitely some minority in the prayer book, 
But regardless of that, the Republic continues contact and exchange of the Central East. It's increased in the last few years, as a matter of fact. At the cost of something great, and a cultural understanding between us all is nigh on paramount. Please come pay us a visit wherever you like. We welcome you with open arms as friends and neighbors. Well, thank you. A little room over here? Yeah. Oh, look at them. Everyone, I have a surprise for you all before we start class starting today. Lolo, he Lolo here will be joining us. I think him a big welcome. Why don't you tell us something about yourself, Lolo? Uh, me and my family moved here from LSM because of my daddy's job. I don't know anyone in Calvary yet, so I hope we can be friends. Welcome to Edith, Lolo. Lolo, I'm Hurley. I'm also from the century, so let's hang out. We're totally going to be good friends. My name's Rooney. Nice to meet you, Lolo. Well, that's sweet. Okay. I wonder what Sunday school in Coward is like. Hope it's fun. I know. <laughs> I'm pleased to see Lolo's fitting right in with everyone. These three are about to become a real handful. The lively children, nothing to block out. You're Rodney. You're Lolo? That's so queer for another country. Arla's family is also from Central East, even if she was born in Calvert. She doesn't know a lot about places in the Central East, so I'd love to hear more about from you. Oh, Central please. East. Is that like the Highlands? Maybe not. I mean, I'm just as fly as you are, Ro Rooney. I'm a good girl. I think I should be the oldest. I could take the bestest care of you and Lolo. Be the oldest? I don't think that's how that works, but okay. You want up here? Nobody's up here. Interesting looking place. Run a little more before you end this episode. Oh my gosh, it's a car shop. That Vaughn's super happy. Hey there, Vaughn. Who's a cutie? Hey, Jennifer. How are you and the old man? Well, for not interrupting. I've never been to an auto repair shop. Then mighty pleased to meet you, young lass. We take care of our car repairs and customers and jobs alike in here. It ain't much, but feel free to take a look around if you're interested. Thank you, sir. What are you up to this time? Another tire switch? Dang, ever heard of a brand loyalty? Nope, if I'm not happy with the part, it ain't going in my car. Gotta fix the suspension anyway. I don't look like he was having fun with that magazine earlier. He really must like cars. Don't pay him any mind. You need an oil change before they shut up. Come on, you two. You talk business or you talk get out of my shop. Huh? What? Oh, you're Jennifer. Okay, sorry. I thought that was Jennifer. Come on, Uncle. I can totally pimp it up with some aerodynamic parts. But what Mira? Go on, get go get get going home, you Oh, I didn't know they were related. That they are. But they act more like cats and dogs. The old man's an expert on the field. He used to be a mechanic for Ingert. Jennifer here's his niece. She's been mentoring under him for a while now and working part time at a shop. And they get to buy all the parts they want thanks to this job. What do you think of my baby here? Pretty bomb for a couple, if you do say so myself. Bah. Pointing customers are right that won't pass inspection. Better stop spending money you don't got. Whose fault is that, huh? Maybe you should give me a raise then. You sure relate after my right. Everyone here looks like they know a lot about cars. And Vaughn's a regular looks like. Maybe he has a car of his own? He's always yipping. About one thing or another. Can't keep up with her. Honestly, these rare aerodynamic parts are going to waste on a car like that. I get it if she was trying to deck out a Z1 car, but she isn't. Uh, what'll it be? Can I buy from you? Ingert Cap. Rank plus four, defense plus eight, a work common issue to Ingert's full time engineers. I mean, I kind of want whatever that is, but I don't really have space. Again. Oh, 
cars are cool looking. Oh wait, no, let's go this way. Whoa, they're driving cars. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have an awesome day. Let me know if you think of this game in the comments below.